So are you someone who has products, whether they are digital or physical, that are listed online? Are you someone who is looking to break into a wider audience without having to constantly be creating new images for that product image, um, be creating new products, things like that. Are you looking to expand? Are you already on Pinterest? Okay, so if you are not on Pinterest, this is going to be my time to tell you to stay in action, go over to Pinterest.com and set up a business profile. If you are on Pinterest, I have some pretty sweet news for you because you've always been able to utilize Pinterest for business and create traffic back to shoppable pins and items that you want people to purchase from digital or physical online. But now, Pinterest is adding a shop tab to the actual lens camera, right? And so if you're not quite sure what that is, now what's really, really awesome is they have put it, they have put a, on Pinterest, they have put what they call a lens. And so it's like at the bottom right corner of your pin is this little square that pops up. And when you tap on it, it gets bigger. And then that helps you search for other items in that photo that are like what you're looking for, right? Whether that be a specific product in there, um, whether that be a specific Word, maybe you're looking for other pins like that, um, if you're doing market research, things like that. So, but that's actually going to be the cool new thing that they add in is using that lens search um, by taking those results and adding it to a shop tab as more and more retailers are bringing their products online to Pinterest, Pinterest decided that they were going to help launch this new shop tab in that search results. And that's going to help um, show the actual matching results with merchandise and products that are in stock similar to the photo that you've taken of something offline in the real world or even uploaded it as a screenshot, right? And it's really easy to use. All you have to do is when you first um, go into it, you first click on the camera in the search bar. So you'll see the search bar on your mobile device and there's a little camera icon. If you click on that um, camera in the search bar and then add a photo or upload one, you're going to then see the shop tab with shoppable product pins, including the current price, the current availability, along with um, the specific links to the retailer's checkout page, which I also am super excited for. I know. I am also super excited for this because I think this is going to really help with the fact that a lot of people are getting frustrated with when they are trying to purchase something they click on it and it goes to a dead link is what I call it, or a spam link, right? And it's really not the right place that they want to be going. I have people send me emails and messages all the time about how they don't use Pinterest because that's all they've seen when they've been on the platform, right? And so they've been frustrated that they think the platform is just full of spam links and they don't know how to use it um, for their business.
And so what's really cool in my mind is I think this is going to take a lot of that away. I think this is really going to help not only the business, the retailer, the entrepreneur, but also the consumer, right? So the person that is looking for that specific item, but keeps getting all those dead links, I think this is going to be an amazing way to be able to get past all that and be able to find that specific link and help increase that purchasing power, right? And so that's super fun for me to think about all the different ways that not only I can incorporate it in my business with my digital products, but also in the clients that I work for and their online products, whether they have Shopify, WooCommerce, however they're listing them online, there's a number of different ways that my head is just spinning um, that we can be able to utilize this right and so um they just put this out a couple weeks ago not everybody may be able to see this yet it was about two weeks ago that this landed um and so the camera that they put on the platform was actually originally intended to help shoppers be able to find those products right and that was really the main focus of that lens and so that's why we had talked about the uses of it in terms of how that lens worked before it was pretty easy to be able to find things right but it still didn't create that syndicated one like feed of those products that you're looking for that you knew um, would go to the right spot and you could check out right and so you could snap a photo of your favorite running shoes that you want to replace or your favorite um, Pinterest templates, <laughs> I don't know, right, that you want to do and upload that from your camera roll or from a blog post that you're on or wherever you're at, a Shopify page, um, and use that. And so now it's just it's opening up a whole new world of opportunities I know that there have been um, companies that have said stats such as like TechCrunch said that Pinterest is now seeing three times the number of visual visual searches using the Pinterest camera since 2019 and so I think because of those stats and analytics, they're trying to figure out a way to make it work better for not only the entrepreneurs, but the consumers as well, right? And so it, it shows the work that Pinterest has done over the past several months to a year even that they're trying to help, right? They're always... And I hear this a lot, like people talk about, it's interesting to see how when people get frustrated over the platform, it really, it makes me sad for them or disheartened for them because Pinterest has always been there to help the content creators. Everything they do is to be able to help you get in front of a wider audience, sell more, be more visible, get more blog traffic. It's amazing to see all these little changes that they're really working on. Like the, the coolest thing, like one of the ways that my head is just spinning is like, for example, right? I wanted this new eight cubby shelf in my son's bedroom. He already had one. It was laying horizontally. I wanted it vertical so I could stack another vertical one in his closet and have more um, like shelf space to organize things. And now I had to look like and try to figure out that it was called an eight cubby shelf and not like a storage unit and things like that. I literally could have now taken a picture of it in his room 
uploaded it to Pinterest and found all the links of places I could purchase it. Like, how easy is that? If I see someone wearing the cutest outfit and I know that person, right? I'm not just going to take pictures of random people on the street. I mean, I would hope you wouldn't. But like, I go to conferences, right? And I meet someone. I like their glasses, right? The fun, funky colored glasses. Or I like their shirt or whatever. I just quick snap a photo and then upload it to Pinterest and find places that I can purchase it, right? Like, I think that is so cool, you guys. I Seriously, I think that is so cool. So that's just, I mean, that's the newest thing that they have out right now. The It just, it's another way, honestly, in my mind, to be able to show yet another way that Pinterest can actually compete with Google, right? And so we talk about how you can rank on Google. We talk about how using SEO and keywords and hashtags and all these things are going to help. Um, and really, I just, I'm really excited to be able to um, have it set up so that Pinterest now can heat with Google and how people are shopping online. I think it's really opening up a wider door for Pinterest as well, right? Like, so we talked about how it's going to be competing with Google. If you wanted to go and search up um, food prep recipes, right? If you don't know what you're going to get into on Google, you don't know if it's going to be, like for me, for example, not free, right? Like you don't, there's just no way to know that. And so if I know I'm on a website that has the ability to cater to my allergies and I take a screenshot of something and upload it to Pinterest, I'm going to get more of that same thing, right? I'm going to get more options and more ability to cater food prep to what I'm looking for. Um, I also think that it's going to really help take a step up above Instagram and really challenge the people that are using Instagram for their business um, and for getting traffic to their store and the shoppable Instagram feeds that you see all the time and things like that. I really think that Pinterest is going to be challenging those Instagram users to use this and see if it maybe even works better for them, right? So I know that they rolled it out first to like the bigger players online. So like Target um, had it a few months ago just to, I'm sure, test it out and make sure that all the kinks were worked out. Um, and people were actually able to use this more than Facebook and, and Instagram, right? And so I think combined with the new uh, Facebook shop and Instagram shop that they announced, I think that there is going to be a new trend, especially with everything going on in the world. Pete, not everybody wants to go out and shop in stores right now, right? Whether it's physical products or digital, right? Like people are shopping online more. And so if you are a digital product, this is your time to be able to utilize the fact that a lot of people are still shopping online. A lot of people are avoiding going into stores right now. And so this is your time to bring those digital products even more so to light than you have in the past. Because there are more people using the platform right now, right? So I just, I think this is an amazing new way. The results of this is going to be able to be exponential for entrepreneurs, as long as you get creative in how you're going to be using it, right? And so I really think that's going to be something that you want to start focusing on in terms of your strategy and how to utilize the lens search and how to use utilize the shop tab um, on Pinterest.
I think that's really going to be something that people need to start focusing on um, because we've always had shoppable pins. Don't get me wrong. But this feature is a shop tab that's going to show you specifically more things that you like and have shown interest in. So I just, I think this is so cool. Um, they're going to be giving you trending ideas and ideas for you specifically. I just, I think it's great. I think I'm very excited about it. I'm very excited to see how I can utilize this um, in my digital space and again, in others that I work with for their physical product space. I just, I think it's gonna be huge. Um, so yeah, I would love to know if you already utilize Pinterest, is this something that you would consider putting into your marketing strategy? And if you don't already utilize Pinterest, what is one of the main reasons that you have not started a strategy on Pinterest, right? Not everybody um, feels comfortable with the platform, and I get that. So what is one reason that you have not felt comfortable using that platform? Um, also, I have a wicked cool PDF that gives you a ton of information on how to create that attraction-based Pinterest account and that attraction-based Pinterest pins so that people actually come to you, running to you to say, I want to purchase from you or I want to work with you or I need what you have to offer instead of you trying to always hunt down those people. Pinterest is amazing at doing that. And we see that here with the changes they're making with that shop platform as well. So, all right, you guys, I would love to hear your thoughts on this. I would love to hear if this is something you're going to be doing in your business. Um, of course, I'm going to be testing it out and utilizing it on my account and bringing those results down to you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I'm so excited for this. Um, and if you have any questions, feel free, send me a message and I will try to help you. All right, you guys, bye-bye.